nice coffee. Do you know how much energy you need to heat up a cup of coffee? 82,000 joules. Well, talking about energy, most Malawians who are connected to the electricity grid get their electricity from ESCOM, which is generated by Ejenko, and it generates its electricity through hydroelectric power plants. Very unreliable, very unclean. Well, we are here at the Christian Aid offices in the capital city of Malawi, Lilongwe. And this building is exempted from the electricity problems that Malawians face because it is powered by solar electricity. We're talking of a massive 12 kilowatts of electricity generated by the sun. You wanna see what I'm talking about? Follow me. There are solar panels on the rooftop. They convert the sun into electricity. You see, very clever. It would be idle space, but it's being put to use. These batteries here, they're used to store electricity and they distribute it to the entire building in case there's no sun. We're talking the big shift now. The World Bank Group invested 313 million US dollars in fossil fuel exploration in 2015 alone and 1.7 billion US dollars between 2011 and 2015. That's a lot. That's not cool. So our message is clear. The World Bank must shift by 2020 its finance out of fossil fuels altogether into clean renewable energy and provide alternative sources of energy. See, we're talking the big shift now. Imagine a world using clean renewable energy. It would be cool, it would be easy to sustain. Look at this printer. It's a heavy duty printer, but it runs on clean, renewable solar energy. If the World Bank is serious about funding clean, renewable energy, it needs to start revising its policies on investing in energy. It needs to support renewable, clean energy. It's easy. It's as easy as making a cup of coffee. 